So I guess I'm a blogger and I'm getting ready to show you what I'm having for breakfast, which is definitely not breakfast like at all. I'm just laying on the table. <laughs> Classy. So I got this really strange looking fruit from um, Whole Foods and it looks like this. I was just really digging the color, so that's why I'm going to have it. <laughs> and I'm going to have chickpea salad sandwich, which I haven't had chickpea salad in such a long time. But um, I didn't want, like, breakfasty food for breakfast, so I'm going to have that on a piece of toast. Chickpeas, red onion, red pepper, pickles, and jalapenos. And then I'm going to add some vegan mayo, a little bit of mustard, and, of course, everything but the bagel seasoning. So here's lunch. This tastes like jello and it's delicious. And then my chickpea salad sandwiches with everything but the bagel seasoning. Taste test. I've been having this a lot this week actually. Mm. Say hi guys so that we can have you on the vlog as well. Kid plays here. Everybody's in the house. Hello, everyone. Say hi. You'll be on the vlog this week. Yay. Hello, hello, guys. I just finished an amazing live stream. I, as you see, I recorded some of you guys in there, so that was really nice. I think I'm actually going to run over to Old Navy really quick because there are these dark floral pair of workout pants that I can't get out of my mind. So I'm going to run over there. Look at my teeth. My teeth are so big. So I was thinking a little bit ago, I was watching a vlog of someone with their kids. And I love kids. They're cute. But I was just thinking how weird growing is. So kids are so adorable. They have their little teeth. And then their teeth fall out. And then these giant teeth grow into their heads. So then they go through this like little bit of awkward phase. They're still equally cute. But it's like those are the teeth that are going to be in their face for the rest of their life. So they have to grow into a full grown adult for those teeth to fit them perfectly. But their faces are still so teeny and they have their grown up sized teeth. It's just like weird how we were designed to grow. <laughs> it all it all stresses me out a lot. I'm like, mm, all of the growing and moving of parts. Like I used to hear like boys in my class and not really girls talk about it as much, but boys talk about growing pains and I'm like, I, yeah, we're growing. We're getting taller and our bones are stretching and like some people feel it. I don't know. It's all just very interesting. The depths of my brain. We're at Old Navy. Yeah, it's a dress. It's cute. Look at this jacket. I don't like this like microfiber feel, but the jacket's cute. I don't like things that feel like that, especially going into summer. I like it. It's this one, right? Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. Yeah, paper bags are cute. I like the floral sleeve on our shoulder. Sarah and I are both obsessed with Old Navy, so we'll be in here a while. That's cute. I love it. They have like a white denim jacket, too. Will look cute on top of it. Everybody's got their hobbies. You've got yours and I've got mine. A little fun ain't hurt nobody. But I know
Sunday. I'm having breakfast today. Let me show you what it is. I'm having some steamed spinach with some nutritional yeast and then some grits. This just has some red chili flakes and some pepper, a little bit of coconut oil. And then I'm having some toast with this Miyoko's um, cheese wheel. This is the double cream chive one. So I'm just having some greens with a little bit of green and then some toast. Oh, and I made a coffee. I just finished next week's What I Ate in a Day. Look at that pizza. OMG. I'm getting ready to run a couple of errands. So obviously you got obviously you guys are coming with me. But um, I just wanted to give you like a recap of yesterday because after the live stream I was having such a good day. And then I got some bad news because uh, things have been like so wild lately. Um with like me moving and like some transitioning in my professional life which i'm going to fill you guys in on but you guys know like my social media policy it works kind of weird and there's only so much i can say um without telling exactly where i work and because of the social media policy you guys can't know where i work and like okay you know there's just a lot of stuff so then something happened where like someone kind of flaked out on a situation here with Sarah and I and it's just hard for me to like plan my life around all of this stuff so I was like getting really upset and like distraught and then I tweeted out um stay positive and keep your faith and after and it wasn't even like I was tweeting it for anyone else I was mostly just tweeting it for myself because I was like downward spiraling fast, especially because I'm such a planner. So I don't like when there's diversions in the plan that I haven't made. Like when someone like an outside source causes issues, it really frustrates me. And then I just get annoyed at the person for not just like <sighs> doing what you say you're going to do, you know? So I just had to like calm myself, ground myself, think of the situation logically because I was thinking of it purely out of emotion. I wasn't like looking at the money of it all because a lot of this stuff is like financial stuff too. So like actually counting the numbers, realizing that everything's fine and realizing who God is just to keep my faith. So it was... It was a difficult day, but definitely a humbling day. And I think remembering who God is always helps me. Remembering that he's good, that he's love, that he's stability. That's who he is. So when I have him, everything's going to be okay. I'm frustrated. That's why I'm like whiny. <laughs> but I have to go um, pay my Lane Bryant bill. I don't... <sighs> know if I want to wear makeup today to be honest and I want to go to Ulta but the thing is when you go to Ulta without makeup they try to sell you everything <laughs> and I don't want everything I just want to get what I want to get um and it's actually like a face wash and stuff I've been taking the um Tati multivitamins and I know I mean hair skin and nail vitamins and I, I said this in my live I know people some people don't like hair skin and nail vitamins I've always been someone who loves them but when I went vegan there aren't any vegan ones <laughs> besides the hum have a hair vitamin at sephora but it's just hair um and i felt like those didn't work very well but i've noticed since i've been taking the tati ones this line that i get really annoyed with it looks a lot more like supple this line right here usually it's like very dry and my makeup gets stuck in it it's been I don't know it's like softened some um but i'm gonna keep taking them i'll let you guys know how they go i know a lot of you guys like hair skin and nail vitamins it's just like an optional supplement like the sugar bear hair that everyone's obsessed with um so yeah i'm taking those right now but i have to go pay my lane bryant bill and then go to ulta and then i have to ooh swatches looking at my youtube all right i'm gonna go and decide if i'm gonna put on makeup or not i did something to myself just have on like this little off the shoulder top this bow is from old navy did a quick face i have on leggings you can't see them i don't even know i'm trying so um <clears throat> Something else that I wanted to talk to you guys about when I was laying on my bed, but I was getting really emotional about Jesus. 
is I tried last year and failed miserably. But this year, I want to finally capsulize my wardrobe. I want to have a capsule wardrobe. I want that to be my aesthetic. I want to have good pieces that I can mix and make outfits out of. And I want to stop shopping so much. <laughs> I know that that was like part of my resolutions is to stop shopping so much. I don't like the ankle when I'm holding it with that hand. Um, and I haven't done it yet, but it's only three months into the year, so I can still do it. I want to go through all of my clothes, freaking pare it down to things that I love and am going to wear all the time. I have this thing where I buy things and I won't wear them that often because I'm like, I love this thing. I don't want to ruin it. But what's the point? You should love it. Wear it out. You know, just like wear it for as long as you can. So I want to today go through everything, go through my workout wear, um, pare that down some, pare my business and casual wear down to a capsule so that everything's mixed and match with maybe just a few like random printed pieces that maybe don't fit in the capsule completely but that I want to have but I need to get rid of some of this stuff it's just too much stuff and I think that's where a lot of my stress and anxiety comes from is always having piles of clothing surrounding me because and half of it I don't even wear like that's the worst part is it's just sitting there and I don't freaking wear it so I'm gonna go through all of my things um, I'm gonna donate the majority of it but I know that some of you guys have been asking for me to open my Poshmark back up. I might open my Poshmark back up, but it's probably only gonna be for like the month of April and halfway through May. It's just a lot of work doing Poshmark. So I may open that back up temporarily to um, get rid of like some of my torrid blazers, some of the things you guys have seen me style on Instagram that I'm not, see how much better that line in between my nose is looking? Oh, it's amazing. Um, just to get rid of some of the stuff that's a little bit more expensive, um, I do still have a bag in my um, garage for Dress for Success and um, one for Goodwill as well. So I'm gonna go through all of that stuff. Um, Get everything separated, what's going to be donated, what's going to be trash, what will go on Poshmark, what is going to go into my capsule. So I'm going to do a good amount of today is going to be me stocking different websites on how to build a capsule wardrobe. If you guys want a video on it, let me know because I have found zero blog posts, <laughs> one one blog post on how to do a plus size capsule wardrobe. and. You may think it might not be that different, but I think it's pretty different. Um, just because you have to dress differently for a plus size body. You don't have to, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I'm in the car. I just got like a thingy for my dashboard so that I can vlog. But my dashboard's like really curvy. Like there's not really a spot that's flat. Except for here, but my camera won't fit there. So maybe I'll put it here because this is like the flattest and you guys would be like this while I'm driving. I don't know. I don't like that angle. I would like it like right here in the middle. But it's like curved. I don't know. I don't know. We'll test it when it comes in because I really want to... A lot of the times I'm just thinking while I'm driving and I want to tell you guys what I'm thinking about. So I just left... Yikes, Ulta. And I went to pay my Lane Bryant bill and ended up buying a dress for my trip in LA. So all that mumbo jumbo about a capsule wardrobe, but I was thinking of my capsule when I was doing it. I was like, it's in the color I like. So when I get home, I'm really gonna go through all of my clothes and pare it down. And then I'll probably do a second pair down because obviously I can't do it all today because I just have so many clothes. Um, but I got that. And what else did I get from Lane Bryant? Oh, just a plain black um, 
tank top because I have one from Old Navy but it has a couple of holes in it so I think I'm going to turn it into like some rags I do that like um, with black tank tops turn them into face rags because I hate ruining my um, washcloth with freaking makeup all of the time and I do have some like makeup face face cloths but they're like microfiber and I don't like the way that they feel so anyways I'm headed home now say goodbye to Ulta over there Lane Bryant was actually surprisingly busy because no I thought no one fat shopped there anymore I thought we all went to Torrid but turns out I was wrong I'm really hungry though so I'm gonna shut up and go home so I that's my intro to everything so <laughs> I finally found the Field Roast Miniature Corn Dogs. And I also found the Fruffalo Wings. Because, you know, Field Roast fr Fruffalo Wings. And it says these are made with their smoked apple sage sausage. So the little uh, breakfast sausages are the smoked apple, I think. Oh, maybe not. Those are apple maple. So, a different one, but similar. So, I have these two guys. So, I'm going to cook these up. I don't know how you cook them. Let's see. They say do these in the oven for 20 minutes or the microwave. We're not going to microwave them because I don't feel like we'll get the best taste that way. And this one also says oven. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop both of them into the air fryer which is basically my easy bake oven, obviously. So we'll pop some of these, some of these, and give them a taste test, see what we think. I think it's really weird that they made wings out of sausages. Just gonna put that out there. But we'll see if I like them. The pickiest one of all is me. And I feel like this is proof that Jesus is real. Like, you get mini corn dogs as a vegan mm -hmm. Jesus is looking out so yes so this is what the wings look like before you batter them I just wanted you to sh you to see so it is like a diagonal cut sausage and then it's battered so those are our fruffalo wings and our little baby corn dogs cool let's test all right, let's get into it. So, since I figure you guys are most excited about the corn dog, I'm gonna try the buffalo wing first. I did lick my fingers and the sauce is very delicious. It tastes just like the Frank's, like buffalo sauce. So, I'm gonna try it without any ranch or anything first. That's kind of weird. I mean, it's good, it's just weird. Ranch. Hmm. So, it's good because the buffalo sauce is good. But I don't know why they chose the apple sausage because the sweetness of the apple is very, very distinct when you eat it. Yeah, you taste that sweet apple right away. And that's not bad, necessarily. It just wouldn't have been my first choice. I feel like their Italian sausage even might have been better. Um, but yeah, they're good because I love filled with sausages. They just don't have the chickeny texture like you expect wings to, like maybe the Gardein wings do. Like, it looks like sausage, and it tastes like sausage. But again, that's not bad. It's just different. Hmm. Interesting. So, corn dog. I'm going to try it without ketchup and mustard. And if you don't eat both ketchup and mustard on your corn dog, I don't know, guys. Mmm, these are very good. 
that's what they look like. Because the field roast is right in the middle of the um, bread, it's almost like it steams, so it gets a really soft texture. Because sometimes field roast can be a bit like dense. But um, yeah, and the corn batter on the outside is really good, a little bit sweet, like a corn dog should be. And it gets really crispy, even in the air fryer. These are great. The best thing ever. So I get kind of annoyed that I have to wait for stuff a lot of the time in Austin. And for someone who like reviews things on the internet, that's annoying because you want to be one of the first people to review it. And Whole Foods flagship is here in Austin. Their headquarters is here in Austin, but we're last to get like everything. We still don't even have the new Natamu flavors, at least in like the North Austin stores. It's so weird. And Natamu's an Austin based company. Like, what the heck? But those, these are really, really good, guys. My bag had nine in there. I made three, and there's still six in there. So I don't know if that's normal. I guess, I guess three must be a serving. Mmm. These are very good. I personally prefer smart dogs over field roast sausages. Just because I feel like the smart dog texture is more hot dog like, even if the taste isn't. Because I feel like most of the taste with hot dogs is what you put on top of it. Um, but these are really good. I would buy these again. Um, these, I probably would not buy again. I honestly, over this, prefer like cauliflower wings. It's just weird, like, sometimes it's good. Like, that one was good. But then afterwards, you get the essence of the sage, which I love sage. Give me a sage brown butter on anything. But with the buffalo, it's just like a little bit weird. I don't know. Last one. Then I'm going to, I don't know, go do something else. Okay. So, final verdict on the wings. If you find them, I think they're worth trying. But I don't know if they'll be like your new ride or die favorite wing. I don't even think I have a ride or die favorite wing except for the um, buffalo chicken strips at Veggie Grill. Oh my goodness. Those are good. But like I just kind of like a cauliflower wing, you know? These are good, but cauliflower is fine. And these are fun, especially if you have kids and they feel like left out because they're vegan. Um... Things like this are really fun to like get the family morale up because I know in the household it's always fun and uplifting and you try things but then when they're out and about like in their lunchbox they don't have gogurt or they don't have lunchables. That's why I show the adult lunchables but you can make them kid friendly and put them into lunchboxes so your kids feel like you know just like everyone else they have lunchable too but it's just healthier and like homemade by mommy or daddy so yeah that's what I think about new field row stuff I did see a bunch of new stuff from Upton's too um but Upton's isn't really a brand that I buy from all that often I do like seitan but um there was like an Upton's mac and cheese but it's shelf stable and you just heat it up if you want me to try that let me know I'll pick it up at the co-op I haven't been able to find the field roast mac and chow still in Austin they have the chili mac and chow at the co-op, but I haven't been able to find just like the plain mac and chow anywhere. So yeah, I'm going to keep eating these wings. I did make the whole bag of wings because <sighs> I love the Gardein. A lot of the times they include two um, sauce sachets so that if you want to make half, you have one sauce for each, you know, and or per serving. But the freffalo wings, I can't eat the rest of these, I'm going to eat one more. Um, they only had one 
pouch and I hate trying to find a way to store the remainder of sauces so I was like I'll just cook them all and have leftovers that'll just be what happens we're just having some relaxing time out here Nicole's exploring I'm soaking up the sun I forgot my camera camera at home so you know I'm a really expert vlogger so I'm just using my iPhone and using my hand as a windshield this is where my big I showed you guys last time right where my big trampoline went it's right there <laughs> so now I just have my little one which works fine this one one we weren't allowed to have it with the homeowners association and Sarah also doesn't clean up dog poop so it smells so bad in our backyard I did not want to be out there jumping but the one inside works perfectly for me and Nicole's going hers going potty number two right now she's she needs her privacy so I'm back at home and I have my Ulta bag here so I figured I'd show you guys what I got really quick before I close out this video. So I got the Crystal Melon Face Wipes from Pacifica. I just really wanted this line, so that's why I actually went to Ulta. They had a micellar water that I thought about getting, but I didn't. Um, the Crystal Foam Sparkling Clean Face Wash, and this one is Rose Quartz, Watermelon, Lemongrass, Aroma Power. And then I got one set of Eyelore Accent Lashes because apparently I love to stick my lashes places and then I ruin them. So I only got to reuse my last pairs of lashes like one or two times because I just like pull them off and throw them on the floor. So these are actually the only set of lashes I have at the moment. So I do need more. And I also need to clean this mirror. I don't even know how it gets this dirty. No one uses it. The dress I told you I got looks something like this. It's like a double layer dress. So this is like the bust part and it's like one ruffle. And then it's a long blush maxi. So I'm super in love with it. It's so cute. I got a pretty good deal on it because you guys know this girl loves a deal. And then I just got a tank top, like a plain black tank top. Those are my swimsuits back there. Can you see them? That I just tried on for swimsuits for all. So you'll see that haul coming pretty soon. I'm so excited for swim. Oh, bleh, bleh, I can't talk. I'm so excited for swim hauls again. It's like I'm so thirsty. I haven't drank enough water today. So I feel like my tongue just starts to stick to my mouth after a while. I also got that pink dress that I tried on at Old Navy, and that's just a black plain workout top. You see a trend with me. It's like pink and black. And then I also got these cute little shoes. The little Old Navy moccasins are vegan, and they have different colors come out all the time. I really like these ones for California. So I picked these up because they're gold, and they're comfy, and usually they don't have the cutouts on the toe, but I thought that was really adorable. So I picked up a pair of these, too. All right, so... Hopefully, I won't be doing any more shopping for a good while. I want to get maybe like one more dress for California and one pair of shorts because I have no shorts. And I know that I'll want to wear shorts. And that's pretty much it. I think I have everything else I need. Usually before I go on vacation, I buy like basically a new wardrobe for the... Why did I do that? Um, I wanted to put my knee up. So then I like rested my elbow on my knee. It was really weird. You guys just... We're here, but you didn't see it. Um, so I'm not going to buy a new wardrobe this time. I'm going to really try to do my capsule this year. I don't know why it's so intriguing. I always just feel like I don't know what to wear all the time. And I think it's because I have so much stuff that doesn't necessarily go together. And it's just like too much. So I want to pare it down. I don't know how close I'll get, but I'm... My goal is capsule. So tonight I'm going to finish looking at capsule wardrobe guides. I'm going to do seasonal capsules. So I'll still have sweaters and stuff like that for other seasons. But I just had a banana smoothie. It was banana, almond milk, chia seeds, and chlorophyll. And it was very, very good. Do you see it here? 
<laughs> you can see the green sludge at the bottom, but it was delicious. And um, I have some cashews and almonds soaking in the kitchen to make my um, batch of milk for this week. I just milk it into a mason jar and have it for the week. But yeah, that's all. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I want to thank you so much for watching. Until next time, remember to keep an open mind, keep an open heart, practice unconditional compassion, but don't take shit from anyone. I love you guys endlessly and I hope you love yourselves even more. If you're new, please subscribe for unlimited access to the Garden of Eden. I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.